Oh man, so good to be back out here and not literally be like in hellfire. Welcome to Man Cave Media. Today we are looking at, uh, you guessed it, Pumas. Uh, in the box here I have some Puma 180 lace women's sneakers in the uh, warm white colorway. So I think that's what they are. Oh, putty Puma white colorway. Um, these were purchased by my coworker recently and uh, as subscribers of my channel or frequent watchers of my channel, you know that uh, um, I do get a pretty good discount because of a friend that works at Puma. And anybody that orders Puma through my friend, uh, they get sent to my house so I can review them on YouTube as a tax for getting that discount. <laughs> One little catch. Yeah, get you a good price, but I'm going to unbox them on film first. But anyways, uh, without further ado, let's get these out of the box and... Check them out, shall we? All right, standard uh, green and white Puma box. Nothing special going on here. Oh, that's a... That's a very nice color. I dig that. Sneaker number one. Oh, they're soft. And sneaker number two. Ooh, they're really soft. I like these. See, nothing else going on in the box. Go ahead and uh, away with you. I can't abuse it too much because they are not my shoes. <laughs> they almost like, they smell a little perfumey. That's kind of weird, right? Like they got the Jordan treatment. Huh, interesting. All right, here they are in all their glory, the Puma 180 Lace Women's Sneakers. Official colorway on the website is Puma White and Warm White. And um, I don't know, man, this looks kind of brown to me, but what do I know? So uh, starting on the outside of the shoe, we have this like, Really soft suede, is that legit suede? Sorry, I'm gonna look really quick. Yeah, yeah, that is legit suede. So on the outside of the shoe, we have these really thick cut panels. Uh, part of them are suede, like this lower panel here that wraps all the way around to the front uh, part of the toe box here is like a really soft, really thick, nappy suede. Feels really nice. And then the rest of the panels here are a really thick cut of leather, which are also just buttery smooth, man. These are really soft. I dig these a lot. Uh, and then on the midsole, it's mostly a white color with a little bit of that cream kind of peeking up. But majority of the shoe is this, uh, this mm, I want to I wanna call it tan. And then you've got like a cream uh, Puma logo here. Uh, more of the same on the inside of the shoe. You have that, the uh, those tan panels that are that really thick cut of suede. And then the rest of it is thick cuts of leather. A cream Puma logo, some white, some hits of white in the back. And then uh, those tan panels. Uh, and more of the midsole, more of the midsole. And more of the same on the midsole, mostly white with a little bit of that tan color uh, peeking through. Uh, on the toe box, really thick cut of leather, uh, tan color going around the front of the toe box. And then you have a white panel here. And like I mentioned, really thick cuts of suede, really soft buttery suede. And then uh, more of that white midsole. They come pre-laced with these fat laces, which I dig. Uh, the, the, uh, the Puma 180 is a skate shoe, so it does come laced with these fat laces, and it does have a pretty thick tongue, giggity. But the laces it comes with are pretty cool. They're kind of an off-white, like, bluish color. 
You know what they remind me of? Uh, of uh, the Easy 350 Hyperspace, which I happen to be wearing right now. Let's see how close they are, really. Oh yeah. Very similar shade of like off whitey blue. It's white, but it's blue. But it's not blue. But it's not white. Uh, I really dig that. These laces are really cool. I like that. And uh, as I mentioned before, it's got a got a pretty thick boy tongue here. And then uh, on the tongue itself, uh, more of those white and tan panels, but the tan panels are that thick suede. And at the top of the tongue, it says Puma. Moving around to the back of the shoe, uh, it's mostly tan. We have a white Puma logo backed with some of that cream. And then the midsole is white with more of that tan peeking up. On the inside of the shoe, we have this really soft, thick material that surrounds the ankle area and continues on into the shoe. It goes just past the ankle area and then it stops and the, the material changes. On the insole, it is mostly that cream color with the tan uh, Puma logo. I'll get close-ups of all that. They feel really nice inside. They're probably gonna be super comfy on foot. Too bad they don't fit me. Uh, the outsole, we have a herringbone tread pattern, mostly. Um, on the uh, ball area of the foot, you just got these uh, vertical lines. And then, I'm sorry, horizontal lines. And then on the, the heel of the foot, more of the same. You got some uh, vertical lines and a Puma logo. But pretty, pretty uh, clean looking tread pattern. I dig it. Oh, I forgot on the back of the shoe, it also says Puma on the midsole. I missed that. Whoopsies. Uh, so these retail for $70.99. So we'll call it $71. Uh, currently on their website, they are available in size five and a half and then seven and a half through 10. And that is all. Everything else is sold out. So the official colorway is Putty Puma White. And on the website, the laces do look more blue than they do in person. But again, it's really subtle. I like it. I like it a lot. The outsole is 95% rubber and 5% thermoplastic. The sock liner is 100% textile. The upper is 78% leather and 21% synthetic. I'm going to go ahead and guess that the white panels are the synthetic. Just by looking at it. Comment down below if you know for a fact that I'm incorrect, but... If I had to guess what panels were real leather and what panels were not, I'm going to say the white is not real. And uh, as I mentioned before, if you were unaware, this is a 90s skate shoe. So that's why you got the fat laces, the fat tongue, and the, uh, the overall skate aesthetic going on here. But anyway, good looking sneaker. Let's go ahead and get some close-ups. Uh, no on feet, of course, because this is not my shoe, but I will get plenty of close-ups of these beauties. Let's go. All right, that's all I have for this one. Thank you for stopping by. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and help feed that algorithm. I hope you have a good evening, and like always, thank you for watching.